time to go grab that Christmas tree. I'm gonna pile all the kids in the truck, head off into the hills, and go find us one of the best spruces you've ever seen. Just south of Stanrod, you'll find a mountain range with elevations upwards of 9,500 feet with plenty of pine trees. To the southwest, people with permits cut down their own tree. We are on private property as we plow our way up the snow-covered mountainside to 8,500 feet elevation. With good momentum, I'm climbing up the mountainside fine until my friend stopped his four-wheeler in front of us, causing us to lose our momentum. The first attempt was unsuccessful until I turned off the traction control and put it in four-wheel high. As the low gear is not giving us enough wheel turn. So here, baby. Run a little bit, please. Dad, you can make it up easy with the dirt though, right? It's just the snow. Well, the snow definitely, definitely makes it challenging. But yeah, but it's like... I don't have... It's like a little ch right ch snow chain, so... That making every single time he's going around, so. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Rebel's Hemi engine growled uncontrollably at times as we brought the truck closer to the tree line. Okay, we made it, barely, <laughs> with a lot of peeling out, but now we're going to see if we can get us a nice nine foot Christmas tree. Nine foot? It is very possible to find a deer in here, honey. Yeah? <clears throat> well, yeah, because, and a bear. Are there bears over here? Yeah, look, look at all these tracks. Uh, these tracks in the snow. Just come over here, honey. So Doing good. Hey. Deer tracks. Deer tracks. Oh. Yeah, there's a river here. Whoa. There's a river? Yep, so it it's got a little bit of ice. Oh. Aha. There's not as much snow here. What? Just trying to get through this. All these trees are too tall. Yeah, there's a there's a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Right there. I'm right here, I'm trying to get over this, trying to get over this river without falling. You don't see me. I'm right here. Yeah, don't fall in the river. 
That's not good. Well, I'm on to something here. Here's some good trees. No, it's not too bad right there. Kind of thin. Okay. You gotta be super careful when you've got a lot of snow covering over the river. You could uh, step through and get yourself hurt pretty good. Oh, look at this. And now we're on to something here. Not too bad. These are, these are pretty good. These are pretty good size. This is not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Well, I'm trying to get up to this other ridge line here where I can find another tree. I've got a couple of trees that I've got my eyes on. One in particular looks lovely. Snow's really coming down now. Right here. I like I like this one right here. I know it's a young one. I know it's in a certain spot where really needs some of the growth to rebuild right here. But I like I like this one. Yeah. That it's a lovely tree. Yeah, this is nice. This is a good size. I really like this one. But if I take it from here, this little pot of trees is trying to grow in its own little forest so I'd be robbing from it. But it's straight. It's pretty full on all sides. I like it a lot. <clears throat> you know the things we do for adventure. I could just uh, pop on over to the Costco Pay my $70, get my Oregon tree. This is all private property. So there's not really any issues with that, uh, with permission from the owner. So many trees in here, uh, he'd be happy to allow us to take one. So it's not too bad. I wish it was a little fuller. And I just don't like where it's at. But there are some other options, so we'll keep looking. Okay, I think we found the tree. This guy right here, too tall. So I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna cut it high in the base. That'll allow the tree to, to still be alive. And uh, it'll continue to grow out around the outer perimeter. So, and hopefully one of those branches will grow up to give it some more height. But I, I think this is the guy. I just need nine feet. Oh my gosh. Oh. Out of it. 
Oh, I'm only halfway. Oh. This is uh, quite a bit thicker than I thought. I gotta take a break for like an hour. Let's try again. I did it! I did it! I did it! Now I gotta try to get this thing out of here. Okay. Oh my gosh. That, that was something. Now I gotta go find everybody else. I have one clear advantage. I'm going downhill, but I gotta go across the river and back up the other side. And I don't know how I'm gonna do that. It's just snowing lightly. We've got this behemoth. It's probably too tall, but I can always cut it down shorter. And I left behind some trees so it can keep growing. So, I'm right to here. Uh. What? I gotta try to get across the river without falling in. Uh. Uh. I made it. Oh. I gotta try to get through. Yo! Gotta get through that. Got it. This is the best place to head out. Yep. Sure yeah. looks like it. Whew. Here's gonna be the climb. Mush. Need a whip. This sucks so hard. Switch. Uh, come on, you can come pull. We're almost there. Come on, come grab this branch right here. Which one? On my left, on my left, on the other side. There you go. Yep, grab that. There you go. You got it. This thing was a base to cut. What did you cut it with? Took me 10 minutes. But what did you cut it with? Perfect. There's the truck. Woo. 
I'm gonna get a drink. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. We did it. All right. Oh, let me. Oh, that's a good size one right there. Les. Les, come here. To load it up, ready to go out. Gosh, we're sliding off the road here. Yeah. It's okay, we'll have to just gun it out of it. We might have that bush right there. It's pretty steep right here. He's gonna make sure we keep our trees. Uh, Wait, where's Sawyer? I guess. I don't want a tree falling off. We're going sideways, that's okay. Didn't notice the dead bush sitting there in the road as I struck it with my front right tire, causing it to flip up and break one of my plastic bumper guards that holds my parking sensor. Well, that wraps up another adventure. We are towing a trailer with three trees, one for us, two for our neighbor. Woo. Man oh man, did a little bit of uh, damage to one of the fenders of the truck, we'll have to get that fixed at some point, but uh, I would say that today's adventure was a success, wouldn't you say Celeste? Yeah. Elijah? Sure. His stomach is saying otherwise. I want to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, or whatever holiday you celebrate this holiday season. Be safe, take care, until next time.